Good morning, everyone. Hi. Today we are preparing for a new kind of book that's within the Bible. And there are 17 of these books at the end of the Old Testament, and they are called the Prophets. And if you look on page 131 in your Bible, that gives you a little background about what who the prophets were. And they're some of the most interesting people in the Bible. Mm -hmm. They often are speaking out against the king or whoever the leaders are and saying, look out, you're not doing what you should be doing or you're not doing what God wants you to do. Mm -hmm. And we often think about the prophets as someone who can foretell the future or yep. say what's going to happen in the future. And in a way, that's part of what they do, but it's not the main thing they do. The main thing they do is tell the truth, and they speak for God. So it's pretty powerful stuff. And today, we are working with one named Micah. Yes. And this is on page 144, and you're growing in God's Love Bible, but it is titled, What Does God Want? And so it's really asking and us, what, what does God want from us? So what, right. what does yeah. he want, David? What does Micah... Well, he starts by saying what God doesn't want, True. which is very interesting because he says, he says um, God doesn't want rich and powerful people to treat the poor or the powerless people badly. Mm -hmm. And this is partly because he came from a farming area in a small town or farming area where people did not have the power and the money of the cities. And we see this even today where people in rural areas don't have a lot of the power and the money that people in the cities have. And there makes for a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. So what he did want, you know, at the end, there's sort of this question, well, what does God require of us? Or what does right. God want us to do? Which is the famous, there's a famous line, what does the Lord require of you? And the que the answer is, do justice, love, love kindness, kindness, and, and walk, walk humbly, humbly with, with God the Lord, or the Lord or with the Lord. And so, what's nice about that is, it is a beautiful summary of living out God's love and God's law together. But what does it mean? Mm, good question. So yeah, that's up for you to decide, and we'll stop right there. No, <laughs> no, no, so, we're, we're going to give you some more information. So doing justice when you make sure everyone is being tra treated fairly. How about that? That's in the text. Yep. And loving kindness is when you're, you're being truly kind from your heart. You're sharing a part of yourself with others. And this is something that's really precious to you. Mm -hmm. That's kindness, right? Yep. What do you Authentic think? Authentic kindness. And what do you think that... um? Walking humbly with God looks like it is keeping your eyes open to the world around you and really, you know, when you see something that or someone that needs help, you step up and you help them. Can you think of people that may need help around you? Maybe it is a family member or a neighbor. Mm -hmm. It also could be someone who's very far away from you or someone you would never uh talk to or spend time with you, maybe even afraid of them, but it's, there are people out there that need help. And we walk sort of with humility, meaning we're not the center of the universe. Right. We are part of everything and we have to be a part of it in a loving way. And that's sort of what being awake to the world is about. And I think our church, we really try to do a good job of um, justice. I think so. And, and the idea of helping others and giving kindness is very big in this church. And then humility. We yeah. understand that there are a lot of people in our community and within our world who need help. And so we are constantly doing special offerings to get mm -hmm. money to help them um, or collecting food or right. clothes. So these you guys can do a can in each hand when we're we, when we have regular service or five cents a meal or helping with the Thanksgiving feed a family. So mm -hmm. there are ways where we are always thinking about others and often it's through giving food or clothing or money and we're helping others out. And at Christmas, it happens a lot it's at, very Christmas, big at Christmas. Um, helping a family who uh, might be struggling and not able to afford things um, or toys or gifts for their family. And so people donate those. Yeah, and, and it gives us a new focus on the king. I mentioned that 
Micah might speak out against the king. Well, the king that's coming is known as the prince of peace. That's not the prince of war, the prince of power, of golden cities. No, it's the prince of peace. And we have a little bit of a, a, a picture we're going to deal with next week some too, because Isaiah says the same thing. Instead of power and kingship, we have this peacefulness we want to spread. So we might take a weapon and turn it into a farm tool. Turning your sword into a plow. And we will do we'll deal with that next week when we think about peace coming. So Micah is a powerful prophet. And it's a very short book. You could read it in one sitting with your family. And it's a delight to start to read the prophets. And they lead the way to what we're also doing next. And that is... We're reading the story of Jesus, and we go into another kind of writing in the Bible, which is called the Gospel, and there are four of them, and we're going to start with them next week, too. We are, because um, we start the season of Advent. Which is the birth of the of the start of the church year. Advent is the waiting time and the time of expectation, waiting mm -hmm. for God to come and be incarnate in Jesus. God with us, Emmanuel. So we look forward to that next week, and I hope you enjoy these prophetic images that Micah gives us. And now we will close in prayer. You want to pray? I will, all right. yeah. Dear God, thank you so much for all that you have given to us. Help us to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you in all that we do. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. We hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will see you next Sunday for the beginning of Advent. Shalom. Goodbye. Peace Bye. to you all.